In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean up your charts on TradingView. Now, this is going to apply to almost any desktop trading platform, mobile as well. In this video, we're going to be focused on TradingView. And also, if you don't have TradingView and are interested, be sure to sign up using the link down below in the description. TradingView is a free platform, but should you decide to use their paid features in the future, it'll give you $15 off your plan. All right, so here we are. In TradingView, this is the online platform, tradingview.com. Let me actually here go back to the original page. Let's go to tradingview.com. I want to show you exactly how to get there. So this is what it's going to look like when you pull up to the website. And let's just pretend we wanted to trade Tesla. I will click on Tesla or type, or actually, let me go back, make it a little clearer for you. Let's say... Let me X out of that. Let's say there's something specific I want to do. I'm going to click on the search box and let's actually look at NVIDIA. So NVDA. And now from there, I'm going to go and I'm going to click launch chart. And that brings us here. Now from here, this is where all the work goes in. This is where we're going to come and clean up the chart. Now off the back, the first thing I want to change is I want to get rid of all this down here. It can be helpful to know the volume, but if you look over here, you can see you have a volume candle that comes up into this green candle. And it's not a good look, depending on what, like how zoomed in you are and the ranges and everything, this just isn't a good look. So really want to get through on that. So how you're going to be able to customize everything, if you double click or double click on a candle, you get to come in here into the chart settings. So here, right here, I'm under symbols. I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to just change what I would change. All right, so first, the body of the candle. And the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is actually come in here and change the color of our bodies. Not our physical body, but the body of these candles, all right? So you see it's red and green here. You can adjust it to your liking, but there's a lot of psychology going on with red and green. Uh, there's a lot of fear response for red, so I'm going to change the red candles to black and I am going to turn the green candles to some form of light color. Let's, I think I like blue. I like this blue right here. So we got the green candles. They're now a shade of blue or actually let's make it this blue. And here we are. But these candles still look really ugly. So we're going to come in here and fix that even more. Now there are borders to this, these candles and what we're going to do give them a nice black outline. It's gonna make them look a lot better. All right, so right there, looks a lot better. And then what you're gonna wanna do is come to the wicks, make them black, all right? So now that you see these candles coming from where we started, and here, if we go back, so coming from this all the way, you see where we started, going back, doing that same stuff we just did, going back, making the wicks black, and the border is black. It already looks so much better. Now going on, there are a lot of people that say only use their regular trading sessions. But what you're going to want to do is turn on extended hours so you get all the data. want to throw in, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. But why would you not use all the data you had available to you when making an assessment? So because of that, we're going to turn on extended hours and you'll notice the extended hours are a different color. So what you're going to want to do, come on these, turn the opacity down, come to the other one, opacity down. Now it's smooth, clean, and you don't have to worry about that. All right, next up, precision, don't mess with that time zone. That's unique to you. So now we're going to move on down to status line. So this is all kind of pref preferences. I like to keep the logo on. That's just this right here. Notice if we turn that off, that's gone. Title, that's gonna remove that. All right, and it's trying to get me to pay. I'm on a free account right now, but yeah, if I wanna pay, I would use that link down below in the description. Let me refresh this to get rid of this. Back where we were, title, it's going to be this right here. Open market status. Where is that at? 
Okay, so this right here just lets you, it's, I think it's legit just this O right here. I'm going to take that off. OHLC values, that's all this right here. That's personally too much for me. This is about cleaning up your chart. Bar change values, I personally don't need that on my chart, so I take that off. And then we have all this over here, which is, gives me most of the data I need. Now going on, I said I do like to leave this up here, so under symbol, this is what I have. And then indicators, I don't have any on my charts, but here, let's add one on here just so you can see. So I'm gonna add an EMA. Okay, they want me to join, so I'm not going to do that right now, but this is something for you to play around with on your own. But yeah, you can come in here. I. Personally, on mine, I leave the titles for my indicators. It'll usually show up right here. And you'll actually see, okay, it looks like I have volume. And then the arguments, I have that turned off. And then you'll notice down here, we still have the volume. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna come here, X out of that, and now the chart looks so much cleaner already. And moving on, we have scales and lines. Leave that on. I personally just leave all this just like this. All this looks good to me. Then canvas, uh, this is where some of you may have preferences. And change the background to solid. The grid line, I'm personally, I, I personally prefer to have none. That's another way you really clean it up. Uh, let's go back and do that. Grid lines, messy chart, none, so much cleaner, so smooth. All right, going on, crosshair. I think those were the lines for the grid, so that shouldn't really matter. And then going on, the scales, none of this matters. And then one other thing I wanna do is come in here, change the background color, and yeah, that's nice right there. Now I'm gonna hit okay. And now, yeah, my chart, here it is, it's clean. All right, now, Let's say you wanted to change something like a fib, just for reference. If you want to change that, if you have any indicators you want to change, you're just going to come open the indicator, double click, and then say, the way I have mine set up, once again, showed, this was showed to me by my mentor. If you're interested in checking them out, highly recommend. Hey, check out the Instagram link down below in the description. But going on, these are the values I pay attention to on my Fibonacci. So now what you can do, this trend line, I personally prefer to take that out. The levels line, I like to make that nice and thin. So it's already a lot cleaner right there. And going back to it, if you want the prices there, you can move them. And if you want the levels there, you can remove them. And then this background just determines how solid the background is. And there you have it. This is how you clean up your chart. Simplifying your chart, having minimal information and data on your chart. Me personally, on my charts, here, let me go to my actual chart. So me personally, this is what my actual chart looks like when I'm trading. So you see, I do have some indicators over here, like some EMAs, but I'll turn those on and off as I want to use them. So I'm going to just turn those back off. So when I want to use them, they're there. When I don't, I just leave it off and like to leave it nice and clean. So if this is your first time using TradingView and don't know how to set it up and want to learn how to set the indicators, be sure to click on this card right here. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button and share this video with a friend that has messy charts. And then for some reason you made it this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.